Hey bougie babes, welcome or welcome back. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese. This is my beauty channel where we come to slay, especially on a budget. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that red button down below and turn it on your post notifications. As you can tell, I'm rocking this super cute highlighted wig. This hair is brought to you by Arabella Hair Company. If you're interested in learning how I installed this unit as well as create heavy layers, then definitely keep on watching. Bye. Lacey, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Uh-uh. Nope. I sure don't. Because we going to Beverly Hills. Now, if I'm going to do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. So in this bag, I received a few goodies, which was a wig cap, some eyelashes, an edge control brush, an elastic band. This unit is a 24 inch highlighted gold sand, transparent 13 by four lace frontal wig. She is in the body wave. She has adjustable straps and combs. So we are going to bleach the frontal of this unit. I'm gonna take quick blue powder, a drop of that Rich Adore eggplant color and the 50 volume developer. This is just gonna help tone the hair. That's why I did the dye in there. And then after it's a thick consistency, we're gonna go ahead and get our hairspray, comb those baby hairs or flyaways back just so we can avoid over bleaching. And then we're gonna apply that bleach to the inside of the frontal and then go ahead and get some foil and let it rest for about 30 minutes. Definitely keep um dibs on it and here i'm taking some tea tree shampoo it's in the generic um you know in the generic uh bottles and then i'm taking some shimmer lights conditioner and let that sit this is the next day and i am gonna go ahead and pluck this unit i like to pluck behind the baby hairs and as well as style it off of my head just so i can see how the hairline is going to look and it's super easy to plug and it just made life easier i love the lace on this unit and now it's, we are going to go ahead and uh just style this unit we're going to do heavy heavy layers i just love this look it's definitely like a good professional like look i don't even know what to say but this hairstyle is bomb and so what we're going to do is um part the hair in a triangle and then we're going to twist it as much as you can and then i'm just going to cut that hair this is going to be the bangs and then um i like to do each side cut it i don't even know how to explain this but i move the bangs diagonal and then all the way to the smallest piece and then cut the rest of the hair this is going to be our bang area once we do that we're going to go ahead and start parting the hair throughout the whole wig and just whatever the shortest piece is we're going to lift all the way up into a 90 degree angle and then um i put it down just so you can see but it's easier to just leave it all the way up and once you reach the shortest piece, you just cut the rest of the hair off. It might look like it's a lot, um, but I promise you it's going to be layers and it's going to create that heavy layer to where, you know, the curls are going to fall on top of each other and it just gives that voluminous look. And it makes your curls last a lot longer as well. So as you can see, I'm raising it up at a 90 degree angle, making sure that you know how we cut the bangs in the beginning those bangs is basically our guide to how deep our layers are going to be so the shorter the bangs the deeper the um layer to look is going to be and then after i go through the whole head vertically um then i go ahead and try to layer the bangs from the bangs all the way to the um longest piece into a v cut section so i'm gonna show you in the next clip so see how i'm layering all the way down so i'm matching the bangs to the rest of the hair um so i just cut at a diagonal all the way to where it gets to the longest piece so it should create like a v formation um i hope that helped the the video should be self-explanatory but i don't know i feel like i'm bad at explaining hair <laughs> hair styling techniques but i swear this is gonna make the wig amazing and the curls super deep and just give that bombshell look that you guys been asking for and so now we are going to go ahead and curl pin curl this unit i use the she um silk infusion serum and then i go ahead and take my um paul mitchell hairspray in the level three hairspray make sure we are hairspraying front and back combing it through and then running that curling iron away from the face 
this is gonna create those layers that are like you know swooped um, and face shaping so as you can see all the curls are um, curled away from the face and don't forget to use a generous amount of hairspray and let it cool for over an hour or more um, before undoing the pins So now we're going to go ahead and install this unit. As you can see, I have two wig caps on. One wig cap is to hold my silk press under, and the second one is create a ball cap method using the even black can spray. I let that sit for about 10 minutes and um, go ahead and cut the rest of the um, wig cap off using some eyebrow scissors. I feel like the eyebrow scissors just makes everything you know easier to get under the small pieces <laughs> and then i go ahead and get some foundation and put that on the wig cap as well as on the wig itself just so it creates that scalp like look and then i did have to take out the pan curls because the pan curls were in the way and i do want that you know the curls were shaped for the dome head and not my actual hair so i just had to take that out just so i could start shaping it towards my head and not the dome head or else it's going to look like a helmet so we of course we're going to do the ear tabs we're going to take our wig dealer um wig glue and i like to just do a nice thin layer i did two layers in this actually had my hair on for over a week straight so yes this glue is amazing and it's good on my skin because i have sensitive skin then go ahead and take your elastic band and while that is melting i go ahead and take my wax stick and just shape my wig to my head and so it's not like all helmety and then i go ahead and shape the curls as well onto my facial st structure because i did do it based off of the dome head so yeah i did a few more um cutting and then I go ahead and cut that extra lace off. I just love how this hair laid. I really like this hair. Like, Arabella did that. And then I go ahead and take that melting spray. Spray in between the baby hairs and um, just the edges of the lace. Just so it can melt down. I let that sit for a little bit. Go ahead and pluck a little bit more for the baby hairs. And I cut it, curled it. And then I take my mousse which this is gonna be the holy grail of laying these baby hairs and making them look fluffy and make them look natural. Um, I get the mousse and I not only put the mousse on the baby hairs, I put it on the hairline as well. So see how it's all on my hairline and I comb the hairline with the um, baby hairs just so it can looks like it's blending in. It's shaped for my head and not the dome head. So don't be afraid to put some mousse on um, to your hairline. It's gonna help shape your baby hairs perfectly. And then after that, I just go ahead and lay um, the hair with two wraps. And actually, I do let this sit, since this is my first install, I do let it sit for over an hour, just because I wanna make sure that my hairline is dried completely, because once um, you do this for the first time, is going to map out the baby hairs for the rest of the few weeks that you do have your install in. So definitely make sure that wrap is th on there for a minute if you are using mousse and see how like gorgeous the hairline looks. It look like, you know, the wig looks like scalp. It's giving very much scalp. I'm obsessed. I go ahead and clean up the curls. I recurled it just a little bit just so I can shape my head and not the dome head. I keep saying that. <laughs> but this is the final look. I just love how it turned out. I want to thank you so much, Arabella Hair Company, for letting me try out this unit. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share for more videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. Hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying I've been trying to get my weight up Staying prayed up Meditating and taking time away